Overnight, after I'd already gone to bed, David Shaw steps down as the head coach at Stanford. Kind of a big deal. Um, not totally unexpected, though. And and here's the situation. Uh, this is not him stepping down because of, you know, the super poor resort, uh, results that they've had over the past three, four years, however long it's been. Uh, this is, that school is not giving him a fighting chance to be competitive. Just bottom line. And, and it doesn't matter who they hire. If they don't change the way that they go about, uh, not saying the academic side, but saying making it a little bit easier for uh, players to be able to transfer in, um, to be able to recruit players. I mean, the biggest problem that they had was uh, that December, you know, early signing period. Well, I mean, they're, the schedule doesn't line up for them. So they go on the quarter system, and it is uh, strange for college football. So it's just tough to be competitive out there with all of the disadvantages that they currently have, right? So this was not super unexpected. I'm not sure who they're going to go get. I think uh, uh, Bloomgren, the uh, the guy at Rice, was, you know, he's been talked about quite a bit because he came from Shaw's staff. But the issue there is, uh, I mean, he hadn't exactly uh, lit it up at Rice. You know, they, they had a pretty tight game with North Texas, but he didn't get the win. So now they're not going to a bowl. Maybe they'll bring him in because they know that he aligns with, you know, their academic values, but mm. I, I don't know who would really want the job. I, I'll just, I'll, I'll tell you that. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.